what a difference a month or so makes. Zirkling winner here in the Super Cup. And he's now last, 23rd. And Conor De Filippi, who is also a star driver in Porsche, is very, very competitive. He's 22nd after his grassy moment on the first lap of the race. So we've got two drivers then on the restart who are going to be well worth watching as the field turns its way behind the safety car. They come downhill. This is turn three. It was here on the opening lap of the race where people were running wider and wider and wider. And there you can see the witness marks for Zirkling's big, big lose have a look at Muller's start absolute great one a dreadful start in contrast by Zirkling it really is not his race is it and so as the cars accelerated uphill Eng tried to cover Ammermuller but in so doing let Sven Muller through around the outside of him so he kind of covered the wrong move there have a look from a different angle watch Muller he goes and Eng thinks I need to block the man that's second on the grid in so doing just open the door for Sven Muller so Muller got the advantage into turn one it was a cracking getaway the downside is that he then got mugged at turn two, and so Philip Eng put himself into the lead. That's Conor de Filippi, turn four, lap one, sideways. That is Conor de Filippi, the lawnmower. Now, as he goes way across the weeds, and we'll head back onto the circuit. Now, the safety car has just gone through as Franz Conrad there in the middle in the white shirt looks on terribly nonplussed about what's happening to his driver on the first lap. And there, look, the change for the lead at the foreground. Project One cars, namely Mattia Cairoli running wide in the background. But by the time they got down to Rauch, although Muller tried to brave it out on the outside, it just wasn't to be. And so Philip Eng threw into the lead of the race. So, safety car runs on track. Looking to see on the message line when we are ready for the race to get underway. It should be a pretty brief safety car period because we saw Riveras's car being suspended out of harm's way. And the smoke coming from Christopher Zirkling's car. Now, He's also running ahead of Conor de Filippi, intriguingly. He may have just been able to get up to him before the safety car came out, but I'm not convinced. But there is smoke coming from his car, so I suspect there's bodywork fouling against a tyre. So Zirkling's race didn't exactly start well with a bad start. So then he got caught up in that incident with Riveras, and now it looks like he might be bound for the pit lane. And if he has overtaken under the safety car, then he's going to be in more strife. Light still on from the safety car, but it's in this lap. So when we get to the second safety car line, I would anticipate the lights will go out. And Philip Eng versus Sven Muller for the race lead. Michael Ammermuller runs third, fourth, Robert Renau, fifth, Nicky Team, sixth, Christian Engelhardt, seventh, Jeffrey Schmidt, eighth, Ben Barker, ninth, Mattia Caroli, and tenth is in car three, Alex Toril. That is how we run at the moment. The best of the Bs is Ralph Bone currently, who is 18th. Second in Class B is Rolf Eichen. Third is Wolf Natan. Green flag is ready on the start and finish line then. It is waved as Philip Eng powers his way down towards the Red Bull mobile curve. He has got Sven Muller behind him. Those two have gone as far as Michael Ammermuller is concerned, but as they head up towards the line, can Muller do anything about Eng? Over the line they go. Philip Eng will lead uphill. Austrian fans cheering for him in second spot. Nordschleifer winner Sven Muller tries to get up the inside. He can't do it there. He's got to be careful. You don't want to do any frontal damage given the radiator peril on these cars. But as they head up towards turn two, Sven Muller has a real chance now in the toe of being able to dive up the inside. Philip Eng is going to have to defend for all he's worth here. It could be that wide in is tight out. Can Muller get the switch back? Let's have a look. He turns into the corner. Can't quite get it up the inside. Eng leads the way. Out of turn two. Downhill. Cairoli once again gets forced out wide. And this time I think it's by his teammate. Toril was in the mix of all of that. And so Alex Toril, the Spanish driver, elbows his way up alongside Cairoli. The leaders are side by side. And Philip Eng once more is able to defend. Everywhere that Sven Muller wants to go, Eng has kind of got that line covered. And as they plunge downhill, once more, Muller tries to get up alongside. Tremendous battle for the race lead. And Philip Eng looking as though, because he's having to defend like this, he might end up having not only Muller, but also Amma Muller behind him before much longer. Bam downhill. The green car is that of Matteo Drudi. He has got behind him uh, Alex Toril. And then you've got Matteo Cairoli as Nicky Tim runs wide and drops off the road just briefly there. He's got Engelhardt queuing up behind him as the race leaders come down towards Rint then. And there is Christopher Zirkling. I was right, it was bodywork against a tyre, and now the tyre has let go. 
wide is Nicky Tim there all over the rumble strip all over the paint as he comes then out of Rint into Red Bull mobile curve and that's going to allow Jeffrey Schmidt at the inside and also Ben Barker the Brit in the white car being squeezed towards the pit wall Ben Barker keeps on coming Brave old boys, Ben, and he's going to give it everything up the inside then here as they break for the corner. Team goes round the outside, Barker up the inside of Schmidt, not quite, no opening. Team runs way, way wide. The green car of Drudy buys into this as well. And there's just nowhere for him to go because somehow Jeffrey Schmidt has been able to stick out his elbows. Ben Barker in the green and white cars in the middle of this great, great battle pack now. He's ahead of Nicky Tim and they go three wide into turn two. Tim breaks desperately late. He's going to get it into the corner. No, not on that line. He's not. He's out all over the curb. So he's Ben Barker. Barker back onto the road. And out of all of this, Matthew Drudy has gained another place. Down they head towards turn three. Max Hackle under investigation for a jump start. Sean Johnston under investigation for a jump start. And Max Hackle gets a drive through penalty for a jump start. Off the road, more dramas. Cairoli running wide. Tim in trouble as well. This, lap five, and it is all happening. Sean Johnston gets a drive through now for a jump start as well. But Nicky Tim putting himself off the road. Up front, it's still Philip Eng trying to keep Sven Muller at bay, but a very, very busy race this is. Drive through penalties then for a jump start for Sean Johnston and also for car 19, which is Max Hackle. They were both, I'm afraid to say, near the back of the grid, so it doesn't really affect life too much, but it does ruin their races even more. Up towards the end of lap number six, across the timing line goes Philip Eng. He is only 0.2 of a second ahead of Sven Muller, who has a look up the inside. And Sven Muller goes for it, and he gets the advantage this time. Muller goes through, up alongside almost is Philip Eng. And Sven Muller, having won a week ago in the Super Cup at the Hungara Ring, squeezes Eng. Here comes Ammer Muller to make it three wide up the hill. In the middle is Muller, on the inside is Eng, on the outside is Ammer Muller. Who is going to grab the advantage? A double toe for Ammer Muller. He goes through, Eng up the inside. And if Sven Muller is clever, he'll be able to duck up the inside again. But he lost out. He gave a toe to the both of them. He was in the lead. He's now third. It is Eng versus Ammer Muller. Downhill. Eng wants to win. It's his home track. Ammer Muller wants to win. He's not had a win this year. Down to turn three they go. Muller tries to follow Eng through on the inside. Eng is the leader. Muller up the curb, goes second. And there's contact and he spins. Round he goes. Ammer Muller is off as well. And I reckon, given the contact, that will have done for the left rear corner of Sven Muller's car. He's in the gravel bed. And I reckon this will be another safety car period, I'm afraid, because it's going to be very hard for Sven Muller to drive out of that. The car has dropped. And the yellows and indeed safety car being deployed. Here is the replay of how Ammer Muller got the advantage, albeit briefly. Eng was up the inside of Muller. Ammer Muller got a toe off the both of them. He went to the outside. So Philip Eng on the inside had the line for the corner. He had the advantage. Sven Muller tried to nip up the inside as well. He could see that Eng was the quicker, and then he followed him down to turn three. Up the inside, he tried to get up the curb. Ammer Muller maybe closed the door a little bit, but Muller's line was always going to lead into a bit of strife, I fear. The two met in the middle, and the safety car is deployed once more. So Philip Eng leads the way. Sven Muller for the Lechner team is out. And what about Michal Ammer Muller? He has dropped back as well. There is Sven Muller. He's OK. Out of the car. Well, he threw everything at it. Michal Ammer Muller is in the pit lane. And the safety car is on track. Our second safety car period. And Michal Ammer Muller's car with damage. Just wonder whether it's done a punctured tyre. Yes, it has. There's a tyre ready. So front left as he was brushed by Sven Muller. I mean, Muller was half ahead, but it's hard to see from the replay we've had whether that trajectory was always going to carry him across Amma Muller or whether Michael Amma Muller tried to squeeze a little bit. Either way, Amma Muller rejoins, but he will stay on the lead lap, won't he? That was a good pit stop from Walter Lechner's team. And the incident is under investigation between Muller and Amma Muller. Michael Amma Muller back into the race then. And because the safety car is out, he's going to be able to catch up to the queue. So he's lost a lot of places but he will be able to catch back up to the queue and try all over again. And so with the incident under investigation, we are for our second safety car period. Frantic race. Uh, Philip Eng once more underlining why he is just the man at the moment in Porsches. He is on a roll, as I was saying, pre-race, not only in Carrera Cup Deutschland terms, but Super Cup as well. 
And while everybody else is busy battling, he just gets on with it calmly and without any fuss whatsoever and picks his way up to the front. And here is a look from another angle. Now, let's just see whether Sven Muller... Uh, yeah, he kind of hit the curb, but then as the two brush, that changed his line even more, didn't it? So it was a, a touch between them, and that in turn is what sort of speared him off to the gravel. Yes, there you see, there's the contact, and that does his tyre and turns him round, does Amma Muller's tyre and puts him wide as well. So I think part of the problem was that as Muller got up onto the curb, that unsettled him enough, and he just sort of ran a little bit deep across the line of Michael Amamula. Certainly wasn't deliberate from Sven Muller because he was desperately trying to get his way up on the inside. He certainly didn't want contact. And he's the one that comes off worse, that's for sure. So Michael Amamula then now is in 21st place. Also, just to pick up on something else that we briefly saw, Nicky Tim was off through the gravel. He's down in 20th place. There's Christopher Zirkling with the tyre coming apart. You can see all the rubber on the ground where it's sort of shredded in the wheel arch with the tyre having caught against that folded bodywork so Zirkling is out of the race as well so that's three of the guns in trouble Tim Amamulla and Zirkling Sven Muller who hasn't done every round of the championship is the other one that's out of the race as well and of course he briefly led the race Michael Amamulla is back down the pit lane incidentally so it may be that it wasn't just a tire it might be that there's more damage to the car now I would have thought we'd be ready to go racing yes the lap and I think that could be the day done for Michael Amamulla the team has a look at the damage, but it will have to write off this race and I think can treat the rest like a test session because it could be that the suspension has taken a knock as well in that incident. And therefore, what they need to do is see if there's any repair that can be done now and then do some laps and get it right for tomorrow's second race because the grid for that, barring any penalties, is already formed. That's Zirkling's big, big spin. Look how close he came to wiping out others. And we've had a lot of the yellow flag and a lot of the safety car. Now, I reckon, looking at this, that we could be ending up going to time here. We've got nine minutes to go. We're on lap nine out of the 14. It's going to be close, isn't it? So the race obey as the safety car peels in. And so now Philip Eng leads Robert Renard, leads Christian Engelhart. That's the top three as they come over the timing line. Life now, with respect, should get a little bit easier for Philip Eng. Robert Renard is there in second spot. The best he's had this year is a second place. Christian Engelhart, though, third, has had two wins. What progress can he make? We've got Sean Johnston pitting to serve his drive through for a jump start. And the cars now make the run up towards turn number two. Can Eng build the advantage? What can team do to gain places? What from here also can Amamullah do? Is he going to get back into the race? I fear not. So the real questions now surround Eng for a win and team for progress out of 19th place. And Nicky is on his toes already, working his way up through turn two. Eng leads Renner, but for third place, Engelhart in the yellow and black and white car is under attack from the black and silver car. That in the hands of Jeffrey Schmidt. And how about the green car of Matthew Drudy? He's under attack from Ben Barker, but Drudy who was racing at Spa a week ago in the Italian round, new to the German Championship, has done a very good job, and importantly, he's kept out of trouble as well. That's helped him. Downhill they come. This is lap 10 out of 14, seven and three-quarter minutes to go. Race leader is Philip Eng. Is he getting away once more? Yes, he is. The battles that he had to endure earlier on. Now, but a memory, and there is Sven Muller having a look at the damage, and big frustration. Sven knows that that was a race he could have won, but it was not to be. Uh, Michael Amamullah probably feels that it was a race he could have won, and it was certainly one of the raciest performances we've seen out of Amamullah this season so far. There, up the inside, and then sideways goes number 11, which is Luca Rettenbacher, guessing in the Conrad car. He was one up and one down, because back ahead of him goes Nicholas Kentinich as they come now over the timing line. Luca Rettenbacher, who's a regular in the 24-hour series, his father, incidentally, a mechanic on Jeffrey Schmidt's car at Lechner. They head uphill, and Rattenbacher is on the tail of car 20 of Nicholas Kentinich, and he, in turn, is looking for a way to get past Kai Rowley. So Rattenbacher running in 12th place. The incident between Amamulla and Muller has gone to the stewards. More on that before race two tomorrow, I'm sure. Philip Eng then leads the way. He's on lap number 11 out of 14. Race leaders powering their way downhill. There is Kai Rowley. Behind him is Kentinich in this car that he's taken over of uh, Mike Halder for Aust Motorsport. And as the field powers its way downhill, another one that we've not touched on for a few laps is Conor De Filippi after his big spin. That safety car threw him a lifeline, and De Filippi is 15th, and he's just done the best first sector. And there he is at the back of the queue in that green and white car as number one, Matteo Cairoli, 10th. Powers downhill. He's got them all stacked up behind him. Cairoli, the reigning Italian champion. 
Look at Ang, though. He's getting away, and he's heading seemingly now for a fifth win of the year.